In this video, I'm going to go over how to compute the standard deviation of an array of elements in C. So we'll actually compute it by applying this formula here. And we'll make a function to do that. But the first thing I'm going to need is an actual array of elements. So I'll say here double A is equal to, it doesn't matter too much what we put here. We'll just put a bunch of kind of random numbers here. So 8.2, 5.5, maybe one more, 7.1. And so here we've got six elements in our array. And what we'll do is we'll make a function to compute the standard deviation. So we'll say st deviation here, it'll accept an array as an argument, and it'll accept the number of elements in the array as an argument as well. And we'll provide a definition for the function down here. Now, when we go to compute the standard deviation, there's a couple things here where we're gonna wanna include the math library. We're gonna take this number here and take it to the power of two. We're also gonna do a square root operation. So those are two functionalities that we can get with the math library. There's pre-built functions for doing those things. So we might as well use them. So we'll include the math.h library to get access to those. So the first thing we need to do is we need to compute the mean. So we need the mean first before we can actually take each element and subtract the mean from it. So we're gonna get that first. We'll say here double mean is equal to zero, total is equal to zero. And what we're going to do is we'll add together all the elements in the array and divide them by the number of elements in the array. And that'll give us the mean. So we'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. And we're going to take each element and add it to the total. So we're going to go using this index here from zero until n. And that's going to look over each one of these elements in the array here using the index i. And we're going to take each element's value and add it to the total. And then to compute the mean or the average, we'll say mean is equal to total divided by n. And that'll give us the mean. The next step is a little trickier. We're gonna have to do a summation here. And the summation is going to be the summation of each element minus the mean taken to the power of two. So we're gonna have to have another loop because we're gonna have to look at each element here in the array. But we're gonna have to take each element this time, subtract the mean, and then take it to the power of two. So it'll look like this. We'll say double sum is equal to zero because we're gonna compute the result of this sum here. And we'll say four int i is equal to zero. i is less than n, i plus plus. So let's look at each element in the array again. We'll say sum plus equals, and then we'll say power x at i minus the mean to the power of two. So this is building the sum here. We're building the sum one element at a time. And we're saying x at i minus the mean, which is just what we got right here. And then take that to the power of two and add that to the sum. So that'll give us the summation there. And then the next thing we've got to do is we've got to divide the result of this by n and do a square root of that. So we can actually do that all on one line as we return the value. We could say here, return square root and then we'll say sum divided by n. So pow and square root, these are the functions that are coming from the math library and they just do you know power for us, they do square root for us. So we're gonna take the square root of the sum divided by n, just like in that formula there. So that should be it then. We'll say double result and we'll test out the function. We'll say double result is equal to, let's call the function with a and the number of elements in a, which is six, and then we'll print out the result. We'll say printf, we'll say result, percent %lf, and we'll output what we've got here. So let's save this. We'll do a compilation here, and we'll run it, and we get a result of 2.465540, which is correct, and we've created a function in C to compute the standard deviation of the elements in an array. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.